Yes, it is time for the annual San Diego night ride, but whoops, I slept too long, so now it's mostly gonna be during the daytime, but at least that will make for better filming. I decided this year in honor of my new Diamondback Sorrento, I would ride from Diamond Bar to Sorrento Valley in San Diego because funny naming continuity. It's gonna be a little extra challenge because I made this bike single speed, but it's gonna be mostly flat except for a few hills after Irvine and in San Clemente and the lagoons in San Diego, of course. So we're about to head down Brea Canyon Road, voted top three streets that need a bike lane, according to me, because it's a two lane canyon pass with no shoulder parts of the way and people ride on it anyways, because there's no other ways from Orange County to LA County. Why should a bike trail be closed at night? Last time I checked the freeways don't close at night. I deserve equal treatment. I mean, do they really want people riding in the streets at night? I guess so. Actually, I think we're gonna bypass because there might be free persimmons down there on Birch Street. Oh look, coyotes. Two of them. See, they don't think the bike trail's closed. I thought for fun I'd stop by the infamous future Placentia Metrolink station pedestrian overcrossing. The sign on the elevator says it's only operational from 6 a.m. to midnight, but apparently that's not true. Because how else are the people in the new TOD gonna get from the booming downtown Placentia nightlife back home? Yes, they built a TOD before the station's even done. 14 years! I like those green lights. And the red flashy closey lights. Well, at least the parking lot's being used. I mean, it is a nice bridge. I noticed my rear wheel is a little bit off center, so I'm gonna adjust it. And the chain is probably a little sloppy. This is where I convince myself it's better, even though it's basically the same. Yes, we just crossed the 91 freeway. And thing worth noting right here on Frontera Street is one of the biggest scrapyards in Southern California. It's so big that they actually have trains there. And I once spotted the decommissioned Amtrak Cascades Talgo. Sunrise shots. Everyone likes them. Everyone loves them. Then after getting donuts, sun is rising over El Modena as we continue on. I'm intrigued by this new light up double left turn U-turn sign. I'm guessing they make U-turns not allowed certain times of the day. Yes, we're going to be going down Irvine Boulevard and then cutting over onto the Peters Canyon Trail and then the Walnut Trail and then to Irvine Station. Housing kids, even in Irvine! I speak very highly of Irvine's bicycle infrastructure in my music video about the city. I mean, look at how beautiful this trail is with the street lights on it so you can ride at night easy. They know how to do bike trails. They have the advantage of largely being developed after bicycling was recognized as a legitimate form of transportation, which I believe was sometime in the 80s. And also loads of money because the entire city is basically a private enterprise. Oh no! Calculating alternate escape route. Wait, how is the trail closed if people are stuck on the inside? Whatever, we're going around. Okay, looks like we got a death-defying freeway interchange sequence, but they actually have routing for bicycles in it. So as long as I'm in the green part, I'm safe. Supposedly. Yeah, the van behind me is waiting, so yeah. Not as death-defying as usual. I mean, it's not the best bypass for bicycles, but it's better than nothing. That's right, I'm taking your whole right turn lane. 
Oh, beautiful. Whoever designed this trail must have been obsessed with sine waves because it does a lot of this action. Up and down like a sine wave. Maybe they were trying to meet a quota for mileage of trails, so they just made it curve a bunch so it increased the length. I think this bridge is for golf carts. So the Walnut Trail ends right up here at Sand Canyon. We're gonna do this loop around that goes under a non-on-ramp street under the freeway, and then we'll emerge by the train station. Other great thing about Irvine is all the traffic signals are calibrated for bikes, so you'll never be stuck sitting in the left turn waiting for it to turn green forever. Because with other cities, it's hit and miss. Yeah. Oh, sugar. Whoa. What are you doing? Froggy. How is he going to get up the curb? You need help? Okay. As I was saying, I love me a good street that doesn't have a freeway on-ramp on it. The frog is making its way towards the landscaping. I'm declaring that I helped. Alright, I think I'm going to skip Irvine Station to make up some time, but I'll talk about the pineapple guavas later. Yes, we enter Lake Forest, which means the hill part between the two valleys. It looked like my rear tire was deflating slowly, so I just refilled it. Might have to switch the tube eventually. After the hill part, we cross over to Cabot Road on the border of Laguna Niguel and Mission Viejo. We then cross over to the Oso Creek Trail and continue south. A lot of new denser residential developments have popped up here in recent years, which are kind of close to the Metrolink station. The trail has been improved a bunch too. Once completed, it will continue on through to San Juan Capistrano and the beach at Dana Point. So it looks like they haven't completed the trail yet. We'll have to cross under the underpass at the train station to get on to San Juan Capistrano. Bathroom review. Oh, that's a nice size one. I like the tile. Oh, you know where this was made? In the city of industry. I feel like this isn't supposed to be open. Oh, but it's bring your own soap. Wait, I have soap. All right, we're gonna head down Camino Capistrano. Then rejoin the Oso Creek Trail, which will connect us with the Capistrano Creek Trail down to the beach. That's right, the surf line is triple tracked right here. 
They recently built some foamer mansions right here next to the tracks. I love that really gaudy looking San Diego gas and electric substation building. And yes, fun fact, parts of South Orange County electricity is provided by San Diego. My funny story about here is once when I was in college, I had the desire to suddenly go biking down Coast Highway in the rain when I was supposed to be studying for physics. And I'm like, I'll bring my physics book with me and study when I get there. And I got here and it was like freezing cold. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? Post up in the bathroom and study physics? And the studying segment of the trip didn't work, but the bike ride was pretty all right. We're gonna head to San Clemente and then lunch break at the bike shop. This part of Coast Highway has a nice protected bike lane. You'll notice if you're following along on a map that Coast Highway changes names a bunch of times. I just call it Coast Highway regardless of what city I'm in. One of the nicest transit-oriented bicycle rental shops. One cannot survive on donuts alone, you gotta have some fiber. So I brought oatmeal which I actually did once try doing this bike ride with a dozen donuts as my food. It wasn't the most ideal situation. I think I'm gonna cheat and take the fake trolley bus to avoid the most hilly part of the ride. Oh wait, that's not even gonna help me. At least not that much. You know, I think if I'm gonna cheat, I might as well just take Metrolink all the way to Oceanside. It sounds like a plan. Plus, I already did that whole San Onofre riding on the freeway sequence in the other bike quests when I went to Oceanside. Oh yeah, enjoy it while you can before they reroute this into a tunnel so I don't have to worry about the tracks falling apart. Where's the departure board? Okay, seriously, did they remove it? All right, I know there's at least one or two trains coming this way since I apparently deleted the PDF off of my phone and I forgot to bring the paper copy. Well, aren't these the most useless bike racks ever? That's like super security. If you lift your bike all the way up there to lock it, no one's gonna bother taking it. So the bicycle car is always the second to the cab car, but Orange County Line trains go cab north, IEOC trains go cab south. If only there was a departure board here to show me which train was coming next, I would know which side of the platform to stand on. I think it's an IEOC, so I should probably be on the south end. Oh, speak of the devil, here it is. It's Cap South. Uh-oh, there's no bike car. Let's get in the closest. 619. Welcome aboard, special link 859. Service to Oceanside. Please watch your step and use those hand rubs on morning train. While it's not a bicycle car, some of the old Bombardiers have this weird sideways seat segment that doubles as bike storage, so score for me. skipping all that biking. The second longest gap between any two Metrolink stations. Here's the part where they let you start riding on the freeway. Going pretty fast. Now I wish I could say we were taking car 619 to the 619, but Oceanside is technically the 760. I don't know if I'm 
wasn't supposed to be filming this because that's a military base. But you know what? Anyone can see it out the window. Of course, the freight is always parked in front of the stuff. Escondido local. Yeah, I don't think I saw anyone biking on the freeway, but today looks like a good day for it because you might be going faster than traffic. Here we arrive at our final destination in Oceanside. At this time, all passengers must exit the train. This train is out of service. How's that sight line? So now that we saved an inexplicable amount of time, we should have no problem getting to Sorrento Valley by 3.40. So we'll hop on this rail trail, get over to Coast Highway, and then be on our way. Oceanside is the only city in North County where Coast Highway is not the official bike route through town, either because of all the traffic or because it's more inland and they'd rather route people the scenic way along Pacific Street. So the routing is a little bit more confusing through here. But by golly, is it scenic. Off to Carlsbad. While we're here, let's talk about North County's unique topography. The coastline is bisected by a number of creeks, rivers, and lagoons, which form natural borders to a lot of the cities and communities. So you'll be seeing this map a lot. They gotta be careful the way they verbiage these signs because loud exhaust in forests sounds like you need to have loud exhaust. I thought I'd stop by Carlsbad Village to see if I would run into one of my favorite rail fans on YouTube, but I don't see him. I think that everyone likes this spot because of how fast Amtrak rolls through here. Alright, let's keep going. Hey, spin record still around. Yes, I'm the biggest advocate for diagonal crosswalks. stop for a swim around here but wow that tide looks really low up the hill right there is the famous poinsettia fields and legoland and the museum of making music now it's time for bathroom review it's just a hole in the ground Really, it goes down for like 20 feet. The bathrooms apparently bring your own soap and bring your own water. Well, I know where we can find some water. So South Carlsbad Campground doesn't have dedicated bicycle camping. San Elijo State Beach further down does which I did camp at in multiple Patreon exclusives, right? I have a Patreon by the time this is uploaded. Next on the list heading south is the city of Encinitas and their community of Lucadia, which consists of the north half of their coastline. No trip to Encinitas is complete without just peachy. To make up for the lack of free persimmons in Brea, some super squashy ones and avocados. The former Santa Fe train station in Encinitas was relocated to Lucadia and is now a very popular coffee shop. Of course, the modern day coaster station is on the south end, the non Lucadia side, which we are about to head into. And you hope that it's a green light here. You may not be able to study physics while on a bike ride, but you can at least take advantage of it.
This street always smells like good food. This part can involve some traffic dodging. Just up ahead is the aforementioned bicycle camp spot. Haven't been in a while, I should go back. Also, I love the redundancy of a two-way bike path and a street with bike lanes on both sides. Really, the ridership here is high enough that it's very necessary. Did I just use the word ridership to describe a bike trail? Great bicycle camping, highly recommend. Of course, this is where little Rob is from. Solana Beach feels a lot like Encinitas. It's just much shorter. The train tracks are in a trench here and there's also an Amtrak station. The only one between Oceanside and San Diego. All right, this is the last scenic lagoon before the one where we go into Sorrento Valley. It doesn't look like a street I'd volunteer to ride up anytime soon. I know we're gonna have to forego the amazing downhill towards Torrey Pines because we gotta turn inland to go to Sorrento Valley. We're going that way. This is a pretty nice downhill in its own right. Now we get a secret bike only shortcut. Oh no, 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 no. Oh wait, it's open. Thank goodness. The construction looks like it's for the State Route 56 bike trail connecting to Sorrento Valley. That's the thing I like about San Diego. They see places that need good bike trails, and they build them. Meanwhile, back in Diamond Bar, which would benefit greatly from a trail connecting Valley Boulevard to the end of Sunset Crossing Road, but no, you have to go all the way around, up gigantic hills, across death-defying freeway interchanges, and make a four-mile loop just to go half a mile. And the other option is just as bad, but it's five miles. Oh yeah! And I'm a whole 49 minutes early. Take a picture trick. Yeah, I know the real sign is all the way down there, but that doesn't look like an easy location to pose a photograph. But I'll do it anyway. <laughs> Good thing there's no traffic and there's a bike lane. Oh my gosh, I love San Diego. I'm sorry, the angle the sun is making is just so beautiful. It's making all the surfaces on this station look incredibly vibrant. Even the castor bean plants in the creek. Why am I apologizing for scenery being good? What would you do if you found strawberry berries just growing right here? You would eat them. I think it goes without saying that Sorrento Valley is one of my favorite coaster stations. Maybe the favorite. And it got even better recently when they built this bike trail that parallels the freeway, so you can make it up to UCSD. They actually had previously blocked off the shoulder of the freeway for people to bike on, but now it's legitimatized. We'll be covering that in a future video. That's neat, they got a counter. That's pretty cool. Well, we made it. Yeah, I cheated, but it was the only way I could get here to accomplish my goal of taking Coaster to the last Metrolink that will get me back home. I would have made it anyways, not bragging, yes bragging, but I should have left a couple of hours earlier if I wanted to ride the whole way. But that's not what this trip was all about. 
It was about funny name continuity. Sorrento is actually the name of a city in Italy. I don't know why they named so much stuff after it. Actually, I don't know if Coaster has bike cars, but we're about to find out. getting in the dotted one. We're not getting in the dotted one. I hate San Diego, said by nobody ever. Well, where are the outlets? This is an upgraded coaster, right? Oh no. Even here, you can't avoid them. Better get my cool footage now because it'll be too dark by the time we get on Metrolink. It's kind of an improvised bike parking because the actual spot is taken. They really didn't put outlets in these new repainted ones. And again, you can't avoid the useless cup holder. Zoom in through Lucadia. They opened the door at Encinitas, it immediately smelled like pizza. That whole downtown is just some good food the entire way. Yeah, now I'm at Point Station. Once again, Point Station. I'm not gonna say the line yet. My persimmons got squashed, not surprisingly. I'm not saying the line. Carl's Bad Village, now arriving. Fun fact, that's the old train station. I'm not saying the line yet. But a pretty tight connection to Metrolink. The conductor was only opening one door at a time, and he put me in one of the Hyundai Rotom cars to my dismise. Despise? Demise? I notoriously avoid these cars because the bike storage area doesn't make any sense and it's not even big enough for a regular sized bike. Because if you look at the directions, please turn front wheel to make sure bicycle is not blocking corridor. Okay, so if I turn my front wheel, where is it going to go? And then the next person that goes on turns their front wheel, where is it going to go? Eventually, someone's going to be blocking the aisle some way or another. Maybe I'll get off and reboard the bicycle car at a different station. Oceanside. Good times. You know what sounds good right now? Some <laughs> Santino's Pizza. But no, they closed in 2016. My friends and I, we would ride our bikes. We would take the train to Oceanside. And we would always, always get Santino's. It's this one restaurant. It was in downtown next to the cinema. They loved us so much, they would give us free pizza when we would bike there. Which is my theory of why they went out of business. Because they gave us too much free pizza. But the crust was so good. Like, when I went vegan, Santino's cheese was the one exception I would make. Now it's the stuff of urban legend and my drawer full of memorabilia. R.I.P. Santino's. My raps are becoming an obsession like Santino's pizza. Yeah, it was right up there. Also, the skyline of Oceanside has changed drastically since those days. They added like tons of hotels, each blocking each other successively for the view of the ocean. All right, Squashy, can I say it? Sunset shots, everyone likes them. Everyone loves them. And super squashy persimmons. If you don't love them, I have contrite for your plight. Or, I have no contrite for your plight. I forget how the saying goes. Yes, enjoy it while you can before they reroute the surf line through a tunnel. I better end this video before I go off on a tangent about how global warming is a good thing. Because, 